We're here with the victorious Eric Irvin. Eric, a nice win over Strong Spain. Uh, you know, back and forth, a re really good fight. Just, just your initial thoughts on the win. Um, well, I mean, I guess I, I didn't under underestimate anybody. I think I put myself, um, I put myself not on a pedestal, but you know, I, I feel like I trained with the best. So I wanted to, I wanted to go out there and, and you know, I always want to go out there and smash my opponent and. I didn't smash him like I wanted to. He put on a hell of a fight. Uh, hats off to Sharon. He's a tough guy. And, uh, you know, I, I came through and I won. Uh, and I'm not disappointed at all. I mean, I overcame some adversity. So, yeah. I mean, uh, a, lot, a lot of nice uh, transitions out there and some good groundwork between uh, both of you guys. Can you kind of tell us about that? Um, you know, that's kind of where I got my name, the Hedgehog, from. You know, uh, back when I first started, it was kind of fucking. Remember, I'd, I'd spin a little circle on you and you kind of got to see a little bit of that. And, you know, it's funny because. Uh, they put this post, this banner up of me, and I was like, man, I'm kind of tired of that nickname. I'd like to, I don't really feel like I do that anymore, and I guess I just kind of uh, earned my nickname back, yeah. so. I mean, it's always got to be nice for the confidence, not only to get a win and, you know, get a win against a quality opponent, but also get a win in which you were challenged. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, um, you know, he's got tons more fights than I do, and, and, and you know, I feel like I'm just right up there with the next guy, so, you know, my next fight, I, you know, I, I'm going to step up competition, not that I didn't take any any lower competition, you know, but I'm ready to take it to the next level, I think. Well, we're here with the victorious Josh Sampo. Josh, uh, back on the winning track. Just how does it feel? Feels good. Uh, after that last fight, I really just needed to get back in the wing calm. I, I trained real hard for this. Uh, it was kind of like I had a monkey on my back. Yeah. So uh, I just, yeah, it felt good. Uh, no, not surprising. I mean, both you guys, you know, took it to the ground. It had, had some nice groundwork, and, and you, you know, got the nice submission. Kind of, kind of like how you, uh, you know, strikes to the midsection to, to free up that arm to get the submission. Yeah, um, I, I didn't expect him to shoot when he did, but it just kind of, you know, that's that's how it how it unfolds sometimes. And uh, yeah, I locked up with a Kimura, and I, I hit him in the gut a couple times. I don't know if you noticed, but he was keeping it real tight. Uh -huh. And then I did a back hammer fist to his face, and it all just loosened up real quick. So I took advantage of that yeah. and uh, tried to and put it behind his back and cranked on it. I mean, we, we, we got to ask you about the mustache. You know, you see, see, see some fake ones going around out in the crowd. And uh, yeah, about that? well, I haven't shaved my mustache since I lost to Capizano. So every morning when I woke up and looked at myself in the mirror, it was a constant reminder. So that motivation kept me working harder and pushing forward. And I don't know where I came up with the idea. I was like, you know, that'd be cool if I saw a bunch of fake mustaches yeah. in the crowd. So I, you know, ordered some online. They're pretty cheap. <laughs> Got 60 or 70 free must or 60 or 70 fake mustaches online and handed them out to friends and family. So, what does this mean? You're gonna shave it now? Uh, my parents don't know this, but I'm actually flying to Vegas tomorrow morning to see them and you know spend some time with them. My, my dad's had a mustache my entire life, so I think I'm gonna shave it off in front of him. Okay. So, so he he noticed that I can grow one and then I'm gonna shave it off. But it's a little annoying. It's not something I'm used to. We're here at the Victorious Zach Freeman Zach. A Big win over Aaron Darrow. I don't know what much else you could say other than I mean a three-round war out there. Just, just your initial thoughts on the victory. Um, he definitely gave me what I needed. I needed a, I needed a test, really for myself. I think I needed to see if I was made from within to do this, and I think I am. So, uh, I swear I had him out a few times, yeah. man, and he just wouldn't go out. Yeah. So, uh, this is a big win for me, um, for myself. So. I mean, kind of take us to you know the third round. You know, you came out, you know, kind of visibly tired. Thought maybe yeah. it was a couple of times you maybe were in, in trouble, but I mean, yeah. you dug deep. I dug deep. Uh, I had a really tough cut yesterday. I cut 16 pounds yesterday. Uh, I start. I got. I got to make sure. I tried. Uh, I tried a new method. Uh, the salt bath. Uh, yeah. So uh, plastics and running yeah. next time. So. Now you came out. You had a very nice uh, opening first round. Just what that do for your confidence? Um, the first round was really, I, I knew I was going to win the first round. Aaron Darrow is a smart fighter. He doesn't go out there to overwhelm you. Uh, that's been my game plan. Mm -hmm. So I had to go and train and prepare for a 15 minute war. Um, I definitely fell off at the end, but I held on and I did what I had to do to get the win. So that's all that matters. And I mean, you know, your, your patented right hand, you know, could, you know we're kind of beating a dead horse here, but I mean, your patented right hand hit, hit, hit him a couple of times, and, and yet, you know, he was still right there. Yeah, I thought I remember landing a knee to his face, too, yeah, and yeah, uh, right. he was just tough. He wouldn't go out, so definite props to Aaron Darrow, man. You're a warrior. Two times here in, in the hometown, under rumble time, with two big wins. Just, just any, any kind of last, uh, last minute shout outs or, or anything you'd like to say? For sure. Uh, thank you to all my sponsors. Uh, you guys helped me eat, and uh, sleep under a roof so uh, it means a lot to me um, I really don't have a lot behind me uh, I went to school I didn't do 
I didn't finish that. Uh, I've, I've had my own path, so uh, without my sponsors, I, I couldn't do this. So thank you to all my sponsors. Um, I'll definitely be sending a shout out to you guys and uh, just know that I, I do think about you guys daily, so thank you. KnuckleJunkies.com Salt bath. <laughs>